Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Nate English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, right? So my dear students, as you all must be knowing, NCRT has deleted almost like 10 chapters of your chemistry, right? I'm talking about NCRT as per the new syllabus of NCRT, right? It has deleted almost 10 chapters, which includes states of matter, S block elements, P block elements, environmental chemistry, solids, surface chemistry, metallurgy, polymers, even chemistry in everyday life, right? And you all must be familiar with the fact that these chapter, these 10 chapters, which NCRT has deleted, these were the easy kill chapters. These were the high scoring chapters, which majority of the students used to do in the beginning of the preparation itself, right? Because if you look at all these chapters, majority of the times, question used to come directly from NCRT, when you talk about these particular chapters, right? And majority of the students, they used to do these chapters first from the NCRT because there was no calculation, nothing, right? It was just to read the NCRT, note the important things, that's it. You're done. Your 10 questions from 10 chapters are done. And majority of the students used to get these 10 questions right, okay? Now, by chance, by chance, if NMC or NTA if they also remove these chapters from the NEET syllabus, what exactly is going to happen? Whether the cutoff in NEET 2024 is going to be high, whether it's going to go low, what will happen exactly? My dear students, let's think logically what exactly will happen if by chance your NMC or NTA, if they remove these chapters from your NEET syllabus as well. So first thing, first thing, these were the high weighted chapters. High weighted chapters as in these were the easy kill chapters, I mean, right? Easy kill chapters, which majority of the students could do easily, right? Now, there are basically two scenarios which can explain us whether, whether the cutoff, whether the paper of the NEET 2024 is going to be easy or difficult if these chapters are removed. Let me make you understand this in two scenarios, basically. Scenario number one. My dear students, you know there are actually total 30 chapters of your chemistry. Right? There are total 30 chapters, if I include all these 10 chapters as well. And from 30 chapters, we used to get 45 questions. 45 questions from 30 chapters. Right? Now, my dear students, if by chance NMC removes 10 chapters, so we'll be left with, we'll be left with only 20 chapters. Right? So initially, initially, if, if I consider all the 30 chapters in the syllabus, from 30 chapters, 45 questions were to be made, right? But now, from only 20 chapters, these 45 questions will be made. From only 20 chapters, these 45 questions will be made, right? Now, what will be the impact? What will happen due to this? Dear students, in the 45 questions which we used to get from the 30 chapters, almost there used to be 10 easy kill questions from the 10 chapters, right? And other 35 questions, they used to be in the category of moderate to tough as far as the neat student perspective is concerned, right? Now, my dear students, understand the 45 questions, they are to be made from the 20 chapters, right? They are to be made from the 20 chapters. That means almost from every chapter, you'll be getting some two to three questions. And these chapters, they include... They include some difficult chapters when it comes to students' perspective, like your thermodynamics, like your electrochemistry, like your equilibrium, right? So these will be the chapters from which now at least at least three to four questions will be asked. There will be three to four questions asked from thermodynamics. There will be three to four questions asked from electrochemistry. There will be three to four questions asked from, electro, uh, from equilibrium as well. And these are the chapters which are considered to be tough when it comes to chemistry, right? Even I would say, majority of the students I've seen, they face difficulty in these chapters, my dear students, right? They face difficulty in these chapters. Even there's a chunk of students which, who actually used to leave these chapters and go write an examination, right? They used to leave these chapters. Now, my dear students, the question frequency from these chapters, if it's going to get increased, what do you think will happen? Majority of the students won't be able to solve the questions. So due to this, the cutoff, due to this, the cutoff in the NEET 2024 examination, it should reduce. It should be low. 
as compared to the one as compared to the normal cutoffs in the year 2023 or even 2022, right? So if these 10 chapters are removed, as far as this particular scenario is concerned, the cutoff has to go down, right? But there is one more perspective, which you can also think. See, ideally, if I talk about the dropper student, six months are enough to, six months are enough to complete the syllabus. Six months used to be enough. I mean, they were enough to complete all the chapters of your PCB, right? Including the 10 chapters, which are, which might be removed or might not be removed, right? Uh, later, we'll get to know about that. So in, ideally, I must say six months used to be enough to complete the syllabus, right? Including these chapters, including these chap 10 chapters, which I'm saying. Now, by chance, by chance, if these 10 chapters are removed and also some of the topics from biophysics are removed, I would say then four months only will be enough to complete the syllabus. Then four months will be enough to complete the syllabus. What about the remaining two months? The remaining two months students will utilize for the revisions. The remaining two months the students will utilize to make these tough tough chapters a little more clear. The remaining two months they'll utilize to solve more questions based on the tough tough chapters. Right? So what will happen due to that? What do you think will happen? The cutoff will increase due to that. Because now students are getting some extra two months. They are completing the syllabus in just four months. Extra two months they are dedicating to these particular chapters, which used to be, which used to be considered as tough. Right? So cutoff should increase due to this. So scenario number one shows cutoff should decrease, and scenario number two shows cutoff should increase. So what do you think? Well, if you ask me, I think scenario one is dominating over scenario number two. If scenario one, see, one factor is telling you cutoff should decrease, another factor is, is telling you cutoff should increase. But I must say scenario one is dominating than that of scenario number two. So if you ask me what will happen if these chapters are removed from your need, I would say the cutoff will overall decrease. Okay, the question paper, the level of the, the difficulty level of the question paper will be comparatively high. This is something which I expect. Right now, let's wait for in, in upcoming one or one and a half month, you are exactly going to get the correct update from NMC, whether these chapters are actually removed from the need syllabus or not. But one thing is there, which is striking my mind all the time. See, for example, if they are removing the states of matter chapter, states of matter, wherein you study the gases, behavior of gases, right? And this chapter forms the basis of the chapter thermodynamics. If this particular chapter is removed, from the need syllabus. How can one study thermodynamics? I fail to understand that, right? So definitely, NMC, NTA, they'll be definitely thinking about it a lot. That's why, till now, any proper article about the reduced syllabus has not come yet from the NMC or NTA, right? So because, see, this is the genuine concern which all the students will be facing, all the teachers are facing, right? How can they teach thermodynamics without even discussing the behavior of gases. How can they teach thermodynamics without even without not discussing the without discussing the ideal gases, real gases, their behavior, etc., etc. It's not possible at all. It's not possible, right? So logically, this chapter should not be removed. Perfect. Even you can see almost 70 70 percent of your 65 to 70 percent of your inorganic chemistry they are deleting from NCRT. Then what kind of inorganic chemistry you'll study, right? That is one more major concern. That's why they are taking time to make a decision whether these chapters should be removed uh, from the need syllabus or not. Perfect. So I exactly gave you the correct logic, the two scenarios, right, which exactly makes you understand whether the difficulty level of the examination will be low or high. As for me, it's going to be high, right? Because now more questions will be asked from the tough chapters, which students used to face. Okay. The students, the chapters which students used to feel tough, now more questions will be asked from those chapters, right? No matter one factor is showing us that students will get more time to revise and solve more and more questions from those chapters. But not everyone can do that. Okay? So the difficulty level will be comparatively higher than that of this year's paper, my dear students. Okay? If these 10 chapters are deleted from your need syllabus as well. Perfect? So I would want you guys to do one simple thing. Besides your preparation of need, I would want you guys to solve the 
JE means papers as well from now on itself. Because I personally feel the level of NEET will increase and it will go till J means level if these chapters are removed. Perfect. So do solve some 15 to 20 years PYQs of J means as well. That's going to help you out in the preparation. Right. So it was a quick piece of information which I wanted to share with you. Hope you liked it. Right. And let's wait for the update. I'll let you know on this particular channel itself. Right. Whether these chapters will be actually deleted by NMC or not as far as your NEET syllabus is concerned. Right. So take care. God bless you all and love you all. Bye bye.